Okay, here is metal, MTLGBTC. It doesn't have a USD pale. But for me, at least, whenever I trade to a coin that only has a BTC or, an e or F, ETH, pale, I usually tr still translate it to the dollar because I only usually translate to the do um, trade to the do uh, dollar pale. So here, the first thing I do is I go to the daily chart. I zoom in and out. What I'm really doing is looking for a pattern. And this pattern suggests that maybe I should draw some lines. And in doing so, I see a very nice descending symmetrical triangle, which to me is bullish. The reason why it's bullish is because when it's descending, it's getting rid of all the sellers. So there are a lot of sellers here. They're driving the price down. And they really drove it down. Panic selling. And drive it down, 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 and try it again. Until you come to a point where there's no more sellers. That is why it's descending. And that is why it's contracting. The power of the sellers are declining. So that at the end of the day, at the end of this pattern, what happens is you run out of sellers and you have nothing left except the buyers. And they cause a breakout. When the price breaks out of this descending symmetrical triangle pattern, then you've got the first sign of a reversal of trend from down to up. And to me, a breakout is always a good sign. Now I see five waves coming here. And these five waves can be counted if I go to the four hour chart. One, two, three, four, and five. But in fact, I'd rather keep it this way <coughs> and call this the expanded ABC correction. What is an expanded ABC flat? When you have three ways for A, three ways for B, however, the top of the B is higher than the start of the A. And then C always has five waves. If you want to count the five waves of the C, Maybe we'll go to the hourly chart. I see two, pos two probabilities here. One, two, three, four, and one more lower low. This is one probability. The other one is here.
that the sea could be done. I've always said the best time to buy is at the end of a, ter a ABC correction. So we have one, two, three, four, five. If this is the case, then the correction could be done. And the fact that it's bouncing off at about the same level could be an indication to that. However, this looks very three wavish. Three, three, three. which leads me to may have this as a primary count. During this, this decline, this is where I buy. Lower low point region, This is where the ground floor opportunity resides for me. If you further subdivide this, I would go to the fifth wave and start laddering in here cast my buy ladders. So as the new price comes in, I would be counting the subwaves. This is why subway counting is very, very important. It allows you to get a geo positioning as to where you stand to the overall picture. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. It is true that in the videos I can give a lot more details than I can in a written post and I just might do more and more videos. If you have any questions, please do post on the comment section. And as always, I hope I have earned the right for the consideration of your upvote. Thanks and have a good day.